Hi everyone, good morning from Base Leg. Yeah, I know it's been a while. We've been really busy and we keep forgetting about the videos and both Rebecca and Carol are on our cases to do videos. So we're trying to remember to do one. This one should be a help to a lot of you who have the light speed ignition system. In this case, we have an RV7. It's got two light speed ignition systems. So dual light speeds. It does have dual batteries. You're definitely gonna want that. You can see one battery down in there. There's another Odyssey battery over here. So whenever you have dual electronic ignitions, maybe except for something like dual P mags, which generate their own power, uh, you're gonna wanna have a dual battery set up and you're gonna wanna check that and make certain that works all the time. That's a topic for another discussion. In this case, what happened is a customer came to us and said, hey, when I was doing my run up, one ignition side was dead. So uh, he brought it back to us and uh, I wanna show you some ways to troubleshoot a dead ignition system, all right? You have some com three real components to a light speed ignition system. We've got coils here, okay? Um, and these coils, notice we've got four coils because a coil fires two cylinders. So this coil is gonna fire cylinder one and two. And how does it do that? Well, the reality is when number one on a four cylinder is at uh, right at top dead center, the other one is at bottom dead center, right across from it. So we can fire a spark there with no harm. Guess what? We don't need four coils. We can get away with two coils per ignition system. So the coils generate the spark. Obviously we've got the spark plug wires. At the front here, <clears throat> you've got a crankshaft pickup. If you look right behind the flywheel here, and let me see if we get a flashlight, you'll see two wires come down and there's some pickups. There are magnets drilled into the backside of the flywheel. So as it comes around and it's set up at top dead center, uh, it'll tell the system where to fire. So the other main component to the system is a brain box that's inside, uh, usually after the firewall is a good place to put it. In this case, you're gonna have two of those brain boxes. So how do we know whether it's the brain box, the pickup, the ignition system, etc.? What I'm gonna show you here is a quick test. Now, as I'm gonna tell you with all ignition system, please be very, very careful. Don't get anybody in the way of the propellers. When I'm checking ignition systems, we make certain we pull all the spark plug wires. So even when you're working on a magneto uh, driven uh, system, disconnect the spark plug wires. That way there's no chance of this engine firing and hurting somebody. Because what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna power up the ignition system. We're gonna make sure that the key is on both. Okay, so we can fire or at least on the ignition system we're testing. In this case, we don't know particularly how it's wired. So we're gonna start with it on both. And by bringing the propeller, the crankshaft, to top dead center on number one, we're going to rock it back and forth, and you can actually watch a coil fire here. So if you move that camera and watch this coil right over here, as I rock this back and forth, it, we should get a nice little fire. There we go. See that? There we go. So now we know coil one and two are firing. We know the whole ignition system is good on this side. Guess what wasn't firing? This one. This is our other ignition system. So both of these coils should be firing at the same time for cylinder one and, and two, but we're concerned about number one right now. So what does that tell us? It tells us that this coil could be bad. It could be the box, could be the wiring, maybe the pickup. In this case, just to save you a lot of time, we've actually gone through a lot of troubleshooting and swapped components and verified that we do in fact have a bad box inside this aircraft. So in talking with the owner, just for some safety sake here, and uh, not knowing exactly how this thing is wired, condition, et cetera, and age, it's fairly old. What we're gonna do is put another ignition system on the other side. In this case, we'll probably use a PMAG because we've already got the wires and the PMAG looks like it will fit in there. That way we'll have two separate ignition systems. One that requires battery power and the other one, the PMAGs, as you know, above about a thousand RPMs, they'll generate their own power. But again, back to the tidbit this morning is to show you how to troubleshoot bad coils, bad ignition systems, etc., on light speed ignition systems. So if you get a good spark here, just what you wanna do is rock the prop just a little bit right back and forth across top dead center and we should get an arc right there across the terminal. So you can see it's a pretty good arc. It's a pretty good ignition system. Okay, hopefully that'll help all of you have maybe light speed ignition problems do some troubleshooting. Thanks for listening.